The Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff, and this is how they feel about you. So the person on your mind, let's get into it. For Capricorn, how does the person on Capricorn's mind feel about Capricorn? How does the person on Capricorn's mind feel about Capricorn? And this could be anyone, family, friend, work, or love. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you see it is when it is meant for you. Someone's eating good right now. Like I'm seeing mashed potatoes, string beans. Like someone is eating good or you're preparing dinner right now. We have finances and career. Of course you would have that Capricorn. It's only one finance card in this deck. And this is a love deck. Of course you would get this. Y'all are hilarious. And I'm saying this as a Capricorn rising with a lot of Capricorn in my chart. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this person feels like they don't have the finances to give to you the way that they want to. It does not matter what your gender is. It does not matter what their gender is. This person feels like they are not financially in the right place to take you out and do things for you. Oh my God, I'm hearing that meme. Why didn't I do it for you? <laughs> Like this person, um, if they've been not taking you out or it feels like they've been avoiding you or stuff, or you feel like you guys be Netflixing and chilling a lot, it's because of financial issues, issues with their finances and career. It's nothing against you. They see you as a soulmate. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. So if you've been wondering, yes or no, if this is a soulmate, yes, it is. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I feel like there's differences between your beliefs and theirs when it comes to religion and things like that. Overall energy is getting to know each other. So this is someone new or this is someone from your past that you're getting to know all over again. So this could be for everyone, honestly. This is someone new, someone you're getting to know all over again. And if you've been in a long-term relationship with your current person, as you stay in a long-term relationship, you both are going to grow and turn into different people. So it's like you're always getting to know each other. All right. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is cute. Y'all got a strong bond with somebody here. Very strong. And again, could be any area, family, friend, work, love. All right. How does a person on Capricorn's mind feel about them at this very moment in time? All right. Before I pull from this deck, I just want y'all to know that I have a special going on for $22 for three questions. It's same day reading. It's video recorded. And um, you can email me at goddesspufftarot at gmail.com. I'm going to put all this information in the description box below and pin it in the comments at the top. But I just wanted to let you know, $22 for three questions or a general same day reading, video recorded. Any additional questions are $10 each. All right, let's get into your reading. All right, you have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of its intimacy, listening to ego. And I feel like this is about money. So this person pulls back when they don't have money. Or they could feel like you do this. Feel free to flip and reverse the roles, but this is how this person feels about you. So I'm focused on them. So they could feel as though you run away when you don't have enough money. Or they could do the same thing. Wedding rings, union, wedding, marry, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. And this is going right over soulmates. Oh my God. This person wants to love you. <laughs> they are in love with you. They want to marry you. This person is thinking of marriage, whether they've told you this or not. This person is thinking of marriage. They see you as a soulmate. This person loves you, Capricorn. They love you. Or even because that could scare some people if you're just getting to know someone, they could see you as someone who they would like to take things to the next level with. I'll say that. Sorry if y'all can hear noises. The window is open. It's loud. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Girl with the snake. Impact. Narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. So I don't feel like this person is a narcissist. I feel like there could be some narcissistic traits in regards to religious factors. Okay, so I feel like 
either you or this person was brought up in a very strict and religious home. I have nothing against religion, but you know there's bad apples in every every bunch, even in the tarot community. No shade, but I'm just saying like, I feel like someone was brought up in a very strict religious household where some people use religion and even spirituality to control and abuse and take on these yeah, narcissistic traits. They use religion to do so. So your person may feel some type of way about the religion that you practice because someone could have been very abusive or narcissistic towards them who believed in your same faith. And so there's, a, like I said, it's extremist and everything. So it may put this person like a bad taste in this person's mouth when it comes to religion and vice versa. You could feel this way. But they feel this way about um, a certain type of religion. They feel like it's it's inherently linked to narcissism. That's how they feel about it because of some past situation that they dealt with. Again, sorry if y'all can hear all that. I have the window open. Heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. Like both of these overall energies, two different love decks. And it's like getting to know each other. And then welcoming love, meeting the one, getting together. Perfect. Like, yes, this is perfect. I feel like the only issue here is someone runs off when their money's looking funny. They run off because it's an insecurity of theirs, especially when it comes to love and partnerships. I'm smelling fingernail polish. Someone could be painting their uh, nails or toes right now. Um, and I'm also getting like someone feels some type of way about a certain religious practice because they, it gives off to them, it feels narcissistic for some reason. I feel like this person has vocalized this to you already. All right, so let's get into the tarot. Uh, and they don't, they don't think that you're narcissistic or anything like that. They just feel like the religious, the religion is in and of itself. But I feel like you could be changing this person's viewpoint about it. The world, completion, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I feel like you've opened this person's eye or you two have grown together in a certain way or not, especially if you guys have been together for a while, but even if you just met this person, I feel like you guys are opening a door with each other. You guys have closed out a chapter. The moon card, Pisces, Cancer, Six of Cups. Yeah, the past. Yeah, there's some hidden things about the past. And I feel like you're helping this person close that cycle, whether you realize this or not. I feel like they've already closed that cycle. Like this person has just completed a cycle with the world, especially emotionally, subconsciously, intuitively with the moon, especially in regards to their past, their childhood. And I feel like it has to do with religious factors and upbringing. It could even be about marriage. They could have seen marriage as a way to control people. And so that's why they didn't want it. But you're changing their mind about that. By just being you, Knight of Cups. Yeah, at first, before you, they probably didn't even consider or want marriage. But now you're changing their perspective. Now they want to give this to you. This could have been someone from your past who's apologizing to you. Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, especially if you guys had children together or they're just someone from your past. You don't have even have to have dated them. Three of Wands, yeah, they're about to come. Okay, so this could be two different people too. You could already be dealing with the person I was just talking about previously. And then there's someone else from your past coming in to apologize or give you an offer. Wow, okay, so for those of you who have two different people on your mind, you got one person who's trying to do, you know, the, the person I was talking about up here, then there's someone down here coming back too. Someone's about to come in with an offer from your past. And if it's not two different people that you're thinking about, if it's just one person, they're going to give you an offer. I heard that you can't refuse. Maybe if you want a kid, now they want kids. If you want a marriage, now they want marriage. I feel like something has resolved that they were against, whether it's religion, marriage, or kids. Something that they were previously against because of some type of past trauma, it has been healed and now they're they're making that offer to you overall energy is the devil there you are capricorn yeah some type of contract all right i'm gonna leave it there i send you peace blessings and love namaste